You don't know how many there were or there were none? I don't know the answer to either of those questions. If there were any, I don't know how many. You've I don't know whether there are any. I think you may have just perjured yourself. Attorney General Garland, Elon Musk was a Democrat who admittedly supported Biden, but then he became a critic of the administration and exposed the censorship regime. Now, per public reports, the DOJ has opened not one but two investigations of Elon Musk. Mark Zuckerberg, on the other hand, spent $400 million in 2020 tilting the elections secretly for Democrats. No investigations whatsoever. To the American public, these look like mafia tactics. You pay your money, we look the other way. You get in our way, we punish you. The American public sees what these tactics are. Now I want to direct your uh, attention to a video here that we're going to play. Uh, obviously, that's a significant matter. It is an ongoing criminal investigation, and so I'm not going to comment on an ongoing criminal investigation. Were, were those pipe bombs operable? Again, the, the again. The ATF is the expert. Again, it's an ongoing and criminal investigation and under longstanding policy, I cannot comment. And we, as you know, this is a very active, ongoing investigation, and there are some restrictions on that, but we yes, will Yes, we can handle classified information, and we fund your department, and so you need to provide yeah. that. It's not, respectfully, it's not an issue of classification. It's an issue of commenting on ongoing criminal investigations, which is something that by longstanding department policy, we are restricted in doing. And in fact, the last administration actually strengthened those policies, partly That's because- That's not our policy though, and we fund you. So let's move on. I could, do you know how- So I'm not gonna violate this norm of, uh, of, of uh, the rule of law. I'm not gonna comment on an investigation that's ongoing. Peter, Nav Peter Navarro was indicted for contempt of Congress. Aren't you, in fact, in contempt of Congress when you give us this answer? This is an answer that's appropriate at a press conference. It's not an answer that's appropriate when we are asking questions. We are the committee that is responsible for your creation, for your existence of your department. You cannot continue to give us these answers. Aren't you, in fact, in contempt of Congress when you refuse to answer? Congressman, I have the greatest respect for Congress. I also have the greatest respect for the Constitution and laws of the United States. Um, the protection of pending uh, investigations and ongoing investigations, as I briefly discussed in another uh, dialogue a few moments ago, goes back to the separation of powers, which gives to the executive branch the sole authority to conduct prosecutions. Um, it's a requirement of due process and uh, respect for those who are under investigation, the protection of their civil rights. So well, with all, with, all do, with, with all due respect, respect Congress. with all due respect to that, uh, Iran Contra was an ongoing investigation, and that didn't stop Congress from getting the answers. And you're getting in the way of our constitutional duty. You're signing the Constitution. I'm going to cite it. It's our constitutional duty to do oversight. Now, in that video. That was your answer to a question to me two years ago when I said how many agents or assets of the government were present on January 5th and January 6th and agitating in the crowd to go into the Capitol and how many went into the Capitol? Can you answer that now? I don't know the answer to that question. Oh, last time, you don't know how many there were or there were none? I don't know the answer to either of those questions. If there were any, I don't know how many. You've I don't know whether there are any. I think you may have just perjured yourself that you don't know that there were any. You want to say that again, that you don't know that there I were have any? no personal knowledge of this matter. I think what I said the you've, last time. You've had two just, years to find it. out. And the day, by the way, that was in reference to Ray Epps. And yesterday you indicted him. <laughs> Isn't that a wonderful coincidence on a misdemeanor? Meanwhile, you're sending grandmas to prison. You're putting people away for 20 years for merely filming. Some people weren't even there yet. You've got the guy on video who's saying, go into the Capitol. He's directing people to the Capitol before the speech ends. He's at the site of the first breach. You've got all the goods on him, 10 videos, and it's an, and it's an indictment for a misdemeanor? The American public isn't buying it. I yield the balance of my time to Chairman Jordan. Yeah, I answer the question? I'm going to ask you one now. Uh, yeah, let's, we'll let the gentleman. Yeah. Um, that, I, I, go ahead, but the, uh, in discovery in the cases um, 
that were filed with respect to January uh, 6. Um, the Justice Department prosecutors provided whatever information they had about uh, the question that you're asking. Uh, with respect to Mr. Epps, the FBI has said that he was not an employee or informant of, of the uh, FBI. Uh, Mr. Um, Epps has been charged, um, and there's a proceeding, I believe, going on today on that subject. The charge is a joke. I yield to the chairman.